What's up guys, welcome to my channel. This is gonna be the Creative Pineapple, where we come for all of our creative and artistic needs during the coronavirus um, quarantine. So I know school's closed, that's not great, but in the meantime, you're gonna be able to come here, learn all that you need to learn, all of those lessons are gonna still be happening. You're gonna to get to experiment with fun new ways of making art online. There's a lot of resources for that, which I will show you, and we're gonna to get to learn some new programs, and it's gonna be great. Um, they're not too hard or complicated, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm gonna put the links to each one on Google Classroom and probably in the description of this video, but you're gonna be going to Google Classroom anyways, so let's go there if nothing else. So how this is gonna work, um, I'm gonna go through the lesson with you on my own screen and I'm gonna be recording that so that you can see it, talking about it as we go. So all you have to do is play the video, follow along, uh, do take your own creativity with it. I'm not gonna do the exact project I want you to do. If I get something that looks exactly like mine, you'll get a fine grade. But what I wanna see is you pushing your creativity, taking what I show you and going a little bit further, seeing what you can create using those ideas, not just copying what I'm doing. So if you need to pause it, rewind it, to look back at what I was doing, make sure you're caught up, that's totally fine. That's the whole reason we're doing this. What I would suggest is opening my video in one tab on your computer, or even popping that tab out to a new window, putting it on the side, uh, and then opening in another window or tab the website that we're gonna be using. I'll put that website on Google Classroom or in the description of this video. So don't worry about any of that. It's gonna be, work well, it's gonna be smooth. We'll figure this out together. It's gonna be great. You guys are awesome. So today, what I would suggest is having my video open in one tab. Um, my video open in one tab and then in another tab you can open, this is a video that I made a long time ago. In another tab, you can open the program that we're gonna be using, which today is called autodraw.com, A-U-T-O-D-R-A-W.com, not sponsored. Um, and then you can have both open at the same time. So either you can switch back and forth between both of them, or you can um, pop one of them out into its own window. Put that on one side of your computer, put the video on the other side of your computer, and then you can watch my video, work on your stuff at the same time, be able to draw in here. So that is an excellent plan. That's what I would do if I were in your shoes and um, that would, ooh, that's a good shot. And that way we can um, move along with the most, most efficiency. Remember if you need to pause or restart or anything like that, you are welcome to. Um, for today, we're gonna do a quick review activity. I know we already talked about um, space and I know we're supposed to be done with it, but because we got into quarantine and it's been so long, I wanna do one quick review activity and that's all you're gonna to have to do today. Is that review, turn this into me and you'll be, you'll be good. That's all you need to do. Um, so we're gonna to go to autodraw.com. I'm gonna put that link in the description and on Google Classroom. And all you're gonna do is draw a picture for me showing the six ways that we learned to show space. So I'm gonna do a demonstration here. Again, try to take a little bit of your own creativity. Um, when you first open AutoDraw, it might, uh, it might show a little thing that says getting started or a quick tutorial or something like that. That's basically just showing you how to use the software if you would, or the website. If you would like to do that, you can, you don't have to. So for today, I'm gonna choose a different color. I'm gonna choose black. Um, and we are going to do our six ways of showing space. So remember, we have size. Size is our first way. Whoa, what is that? Computer needs to hurry up a little bit. Okay, we have size, we have shape. The cool thing about this program is that it smooths out your lines for you. It also looks like it's having a little bit of trouble reading my handwriting. Size, shape, we have detail. Maybe if I write a little bit slower, it'll understand. Detail, we have perspective. One, two, three, four. We have shading or color. Placement. So I'm gonna write all of these out in here. 
You do not have to label these, although I would suggest it because it makes it easier for you to remember. Um, so for size, remember we have big stuff in the front. So we'll show this sphere in the front. And then, and don't worry about perfect drawing. I know a lot of you guys haven't used online drawing software before, and that's totally fine. I understand that. Um, if you mess up, you can press Control Z, um, and it'll go back through the process until you get back to where you want it to be. So I don't know why my computer glitched and we had that big old stripe somewhere else. That's fine. This auto draw button right here, this smooths it out for you. If you just choose draw, it doesn't smooth it out for you. It doesn't um, change pressure based on how fast you draw or anything like that. Um, it just draws exactly where you where you put your mouse. All right. So again, this when you don't have it on auto draw, it just draws exactly where you put your mouse. So I'm just gonna scribble in a shadow there real quick. And then we're gonna have another one right here, but it's gonna be super small, like a little tiny, like a little baby circle. And then we have them, even though they're pretty much about the same place, one of them is smaller and so it looks farther away. So we got size. We also got, wait, shape. Why do I have shape in there? Shape is not one of those. Okay. See, we can scribble stuff out. Okay, we got shape. We got detail. So we're gonna have one in front. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I haven't even thought through how we're gonna do this digitally. We're gonna shade it in. So I got one sphere up here, give a little shadow. And then in the background, hmm, how can we do this? Maybe I can have, I'll make my brush size bigger. I'll use a different color. Oh, maybe I'll use a gray. I know that kind of goes more with um, shading and color. in so it looks better if we want closer ones are going to be bigger further ones are going to be smaller away we've got a little sun off in the distance so it looks like our middle school draw or elementary school drawings okay cool we got that one so let's move on we got perspective then we got shading and color it's a it's a great one so for this one i think i'm going to draw a cube actually so let's put a cube in here let's make it go off into the distance off into the distance, off into the distance. I'm gonna color these in. Okay, and then one side I'm gonna color in all the way black. One side I'm gonna color in gray. So we have nice little shading going on in there. And so we have something looking like a 3D cube. So one side doesn't have all the light, one side does. You can tell digital drawing is not my specialty. I know it's not gonna be yours either, and that's okay. So we got shading. Um, and color. We can also do, let's draw something even farther away. So maybe let's draw ourselves a, let's draw ourselves a little sphere back here. We'll make that dark in here, dark, 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 dark. And then maybe we'll put the background, fill in the background, and maybe they're sitting on a table right here. And that sphere is just about to fall off the table. So we'll fill these in and then you start seeing some space. You can tell that this background that I'm shading in is behind 
the cube and the sphere. So remember, space is showing what's closer and what's farther away. It's a way of showing distance between objects. Okay. All right, then two more. Placement. Easy one. Most of you guys know this one already. Wasn't that cool how it just fixes your, fixes your blurry lines for you? Okay, so we're going to shade this in. We got placement. This one's close. This one's far away, only because it's higher up on the page. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, cool. Um, last one, easiest one. You guys got this. You have to remember this. Okay, overlapping. When something is covering something else, it's in front. It's closest to us. Okay. So for overlap, all we're going to do is draw one sphere up at the front. Shade it in so it looks nice and spheery. Make it nice and dark at the bottom. Make it a little lighter up here. Give it a little shadow down there. Cool, cool. All right, overlap. All that means is one of the spheres is behind the other one, and we can tell because one of them is covering part of the other one. Shade those in. What? What? What is that? Don't need that. Okay. Got two shadows. Maybe they're even mixing. It's okay if this this is an online free program. So a lot of times when that happens, they get a little bit of uh, they get a little bit buggy. That's okay. Don't worry about it. All right. So then we have our image. That's perfect. We got all six ways of showing space in there. If you copy mine exactly, shame on you. But also, it's all right. Um, make try to be creative. Make your own. Sorry for that noise. Um, and now once that is done, all we have to do is get that to me on Google Classroom. All right, so all you gotta do is go to these three lines right up in this corner, just like on your phone. You're gonna click those three lines, open them up, and then scroll down to download. Hit download. You should see it pop up right down there. I've had to do this a couple times, that's why you see a few of them down there. That's all right, don't worry about that. Um, if you need to know where it goes, it goes into your download folder. So you're gonna open your files, go to downloads. So when you click on that, it's gonna have everything you've downloaded. You can see that I've been working on stuff for school and education. Um, then you're gonna go to your recent one. Your most recent one is gonna be from this one. It is called AutoDraw. Then it's gonna have the date on there. And then if you need to make sure it's the right one, you can see the time right there. You're just gonna click on that. Use that as your um, assignment. So all you gotta do, submit that through Google Classroom and you'll be good. You guys are great. I miss you a lot. I hope you're doing well with this time off. Not really off, but at home. I know sometimes it's hard to stay focused, but you can do this. Stay focused. Keep at it. Don't make school take longer than it needs to. Um, and you guys are awesome. I will see you guys hopefully soon. Um, but for now, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Have a good day.